only four source populations of tigers left in the world. A source population is a population that's big enough that it's going to survive in the next hundred years. And second part of a source population is it's big enough that maybe it'll provide tigers to re-establish tigers elsewhere. And India has done that in one place. They brought tigers in and they've re-established the population. So there's no other place that can be a source for tigers in Thailand, Laos, Cambodia, Vietnam. WEFCOM is the... WEFCOM is it. You've got one population that's likely to be here in a hundred years. So behavior can change. Maybe the Thai people will be interested in the environment, the ecological services. When they are, they can recover tigers, but they have to have the source population. So when you talk about the Maywong Dam, well, well, let's just give the little Maywong Dam. It's only a, a, a few hundred hectares. No, it's going to damage the source population. So it's going to damage the future for tigers everywhere. The same thing with more highway and pipelines. So, you said four places in the world where, I mean, besides Wefcom. So Russia, Russia, and the Western Ghats, Thailand, and then the next one possibly uh, could be the Terai arc landscape from Nepal going to Corbett. That could be uh, one. Sundarbans is also a smaller area, but quite dense. So, so the the fourth one is a little debatable. It's clear the Western Ghats, Russia, and Thailand. And you know, we estimate the number of breeding tigers in Wefcom, the number of breeding females that can produce offspring, to be maybe at the most 80. And that's, that's big, a uh, big source population. Doesn't seem like many. And Thai people should be very proud of that. Right? So Thai people ought to be very proud of it. Thai people are nationalistic. So if you get them proud of their tigers, they're gonna do something. And when we think about a future project, maybe the future project comes from Thai organizations, not from the international organizations. There's a lot of money in Thailand, and so, um, and if you had funding from uh, uh, Thai organizations, it's going to lead to a bigger influence on the Thai government. So, waking up some pride.